Hey there, I'm Dawn Mello and I'm the customer service manager for CraftCuts.com. I also manage our hand painting department and I wanted to give you a tutorial on how to paint a variety of plaid patterns on wood letters. We can paint your letters for you, but if you want to paint your own, here's how to do it. I'm using six inch letters in the font called Quorum, cut from our Baltic birch wood, but you can order any size in any font. The materials we use are acrylic craft paint in white, angelic blue, trail tan, spice brown, Liquitex glossy medium and varnish, a three quarter inch flat brush, a round brush, a liner brush, a one inch foam brush, quarter inch easy mask tape, half inch masking tape, and 220 grit sandpaper. I also have a paper plate, paper towel, and water handy as well. I've laid down some butcher paper to protect my table from paint. First we're going to paint the letter the base color. Each painter who works here has a different brush preference, but I like using the foam brush because I can put a heavier coat of paint on the dark edges. Once I have a good coat on the sides, I sand off the paint buildup on the face of the letter. Now I'm going to paint the face of the letter brushing it on in the same direction as the wood grain. I don't need a lot of paint on my brush because I don't want it to drip onto the sides of the letter. Now that my base coat is dry, it's time to paint the plaid. The first plaid features wide angelic blue lines with tan and brown to make up the pattern. I'm going to paint the vertical lines first by placing quarter inch tape down, extending it past the edge of the letter. The first three tape lines will be evenly spaced a quarter inch apart. Then the next tape line will be placed a half inch apart. We will repeat this pattern again until the letter is completely taped. Paint the first line brown and then every quarter inch line immediately following the half inch space. Next paint tan in the quarter inch space immediately following the brown lines. For the wide half inch space, paint angelic blue. Use a modest amount of paint so it doesn't bleed under the tape. Once the paint is just about dry, pull off the tape. Now that the paint is dry, I will tape down the horizontal lines in the same pattern as the vertical. I'm going to paint the first line brown and continue the same pattern as our vertical lines. Now that the paint is almost dry, I'm going to remove the tape. This letter is almost complete, but I'm going to finish it up with a liner brush using the brown paint on the angelic blue stripes for a little more contrast. Next is just a basic single color grid pattern with white on spice brown. Place the half inch masking tape a half inch apart. Paint the lines white with a light amount of paint so it's semi-transparent, which gives it the plaid look. I'm going to remove the tape just before the paint is completely dry. Now that my horizontal lines are dry, I'm going to apply the same taping pattern vertically. With the same light touch, I start painting with white. Now that I'm done with this design, I'm going to set this letter aside to dry. Next, I'm going to use the same taping technique with two colors, angelic blue and spice brown on white. I'm placing the half inch tape a half inch apart. First, I alternate the lines with brown. Now I alternate with angelic blue. Once these lines are dry, I will apply the vertical tape and do the same thing. Again, I will alternate spice brown and then angelic blue. Now the K is done. For this last letter, I will use the same technique with three colors, angelic blue, trail tan, and spice brown on white. Place the half inch tape a half inch apart and alternate angelic blue, trail tan, then spice brown. Pull the tape off and when the paint is dry, place the tape vertically and paint with the same alternating colors. Now that I finished painting my letters, I'm going to finish the job by brushing on the Liquitex Gloss Medium Varnish with a large flat brush. It helps seal the paint and gives everything a fresh glossy look. Once the gloss medium and varnish is dry, I will go back and touch up the sides of the letters as needed. Be careful not to get any paint on the face of the letters, but if you do, simply wipe it off with a damp paper towel. 
Now that I've shown you some of our tricks of the trade, I hope what you take away from this tutorial is that any plaid pattern can be made with simple masking tape. Good luck with your project and if you have any questions or just want us to paint the letters for you, please contact us and we'll be happy to help. I'm Dawn Mello for CraftCuts.com and thanks for watching.